So I've been using the Xbox full screen experience on my ROG Ally Z1 for a few days now, and I wanted to test whether or not there was actually a performance increase from using it versus not using it. So I have two games here that I'm gonna be running a benchmark on. The first one is gonna be Cyberpunk 2077. And within the settings on the graphics, I'm gonna reset everything to default, except for the quick preset is gonna be set to Steam Deck. And that's the only change I made. Now within the ROG Ally itself, I'm gonna be running a 15 watt TDP, uh, 1080p resolution, and when Finn Armory Crate, I'm gonna have it set to six gigabytes of RAM. That's the only change that I've made. Now the first test is going to be ran through the full screen experience itself. As you see here, I am running it just to show you that I am, and nothing else is opened. When I did run this on the full screen experience, I got an average of 39.48 FPS and a max of 49.5. Now, when running it through the PC version itself, without the full screen experience, it was a big drop in performance. As you see here, I'm getting 30.89 FPS on the average and 37.55 on the max. Now, that wasn't the only game I tested. I also have here the benchmark for Black Myth Wukong. And of course, these are just straight, regular default settings. I've changed nothing else. I also still have the 15 watt TDP and the 1080p resolution, as well as a six gigabytes of RAM set. Now, when running this, I did it through the non full screen experience first, and I got an average of 49 FPS and a maximum of 56. That's actually pretty good for this game. It ran pretty well on the handheld as is. However, when I ran it on the full screen experience, I got an average of 57 FPS and a maximum of 64. So almost a 10 FPS jump by just using full screen experience. So if you ask me, definitely worth it to try this out for yourself. I have a video in the link in the description to actually get the full screen experience working on your ROG Ally today. But overall, it did improve the FPS. It did improve the performance without having to do anything else. Everything is set to default. There's no added anything to it and it just works. It actually did improve my gameplay experience. Now, these are just benchmarks and not full gameplay. So obviously your mileage may vary, but overall, if you ask me, I say it's worth it. If you happen to have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section down below. If there are any other games you want me to test out and I happen to have them, I may go ahead and test those out and I'll let you know what I get from my experience but that's pretty much it for today thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one